Stitching perfectly symmetrical circles is so simple with the Circles So Simple tool. Create straight stitched, zigzagged, or appliqued circles in 26 sizes. Here's how the Circles So Simple tool works. Let's first take a look at an inspiration, a table runner made with perfectly stitched circles or appliqued circles every time. You can work with home decorating, accessories, or handbags to create great looking circle projects. But first, let's look at the tool. The circle gauge has all the elements on it that you'll need. You can create circles from 2 inches to 26 inches. It's die cut down the center with divots at each inch marking. We also have it in inches and metric across the top inches along the lower edge. Now place the gauge over the tack, point side up obviously, placing it first in the, the gauge over the center and then it goes right into the notch. To hold everything in place is the crossbar attachment. Having an opening in the center crossbar, you can see it has two legs and the legs will fit on either side of the gauge. And position this over the tack and it snaps into place. Now the tack needs a guard. There are two types of guards that come with the product. Put one on the tack. On the underside of the gauge and the crossbar attachment, I have double-sided basting tape, which you'll find in the packaging, placed along the side of the gauge and on the legs of the attachment bar. But before putting this on the bed of your sewing machine, you'll need to have the gauge start two inches from the edge of the needle, so it will be about two inches away. So there's this template that comes with your packaging, and cut it out. It's in the paper instructions. Place this underneath the presser foot area. Now notice I have a open toe foot. It works easier. You can see what you're doing when you have that open toe foot there. Align it to the side and center and we'll see how close I came to getting it into place. I'll adjust it just a touch and then lower the needle to make sure I'm in the right position. Sunk it right in the crossbar. On the underside of this next sample, I've re removed the paper covering of the double-sided basting tape. Removed it, and now I'm going to align the center of the gauge to the marking on the template. And position it to the bed of your machine. I'll raise the presser foot and remove the template, put it back in your instructions so that you have it for future reference. You're going to want to make a test sample to begin with and to do this remove the tack covering, place fabric that has a stabilizer or interfacing pressed to the underside, I have a stabilizer, and then depress the fabric over the tack and cover the tack. I'm going to change my stitch to a satin stitch. A zigzag stitch with about a point, a 4.5 width and the length of 0.6 to 0.5, somewhere in that vicinity. Lower the presser foot. You have, or you have machine embroidery thread in the top and then stitch. Just stitch around the circle and it's hands-free stitching. I'm not using any hands because we have a fulcrum or a pivot point and it's just going around in circles. When you experiment with this, you can test out different widths of satin stitches, different lengths, and see what you like. But this is really simple, and that's why we call it Circles So Simple. While this is stitching, I'm going to show you that we have other options to work with. And the next thing I'm going to show you is the applique. It's done much in the same manner, but with two steps. Now, as I'm finishing this first circle, Getting to my starting point, I'll stitch two stitches beyond the satin, first satin stitch, cut my threads, raise the presser foot, and then undo the tack cover, and I'll slide this off the fabric. I'm going to make a slightly different size of applique. So now that the tack cover is off, I can move 
the gauge slightly, move it slightly so that I can adjust it, move the attachment, excuse me, and just slide the tack over. You slide it up, notice how it goes up and over, get it out of the notch, and I'll make a little smaller circle and then it goes down. So it, within that notch and the, the gauge, you can just get it to the size. Now this is going to be the smallest size that we have, a two inch. Two inch circle, place the fabric back on top, depress it. Now add another element. The element is fabric with fusible interfacing and put it down again through the tack and cover it. We'll keep the fabric in place. Set your machine for a straight stitch. And then stitch this two inch circle, just sewing in circles. Just go around and around. After you've made the complete stitching, then use an applique scissors. I'll raise the presser foot, cut into the fabric, and just let the fabric twist around that tack. and cut. Now after doing the cutting, then you'll need to change the stitch width back to a satin stitch. I'll lower the presser foot and at the machine I will change it to a satin stitch and I'm going to go back to the same settings I had earlier, 4.5 width and the length a short stitch length. And just like before, I'll just let the machine do the satin stitching, sewing in circles, going over the edges. Because it's been trimmed very closely, you'll have a perfect applique without hardly any effort. I think you get the idea of how the Circles Sew Simple tool works. But now there are other options. This is just the tip of the proverbial iceberg of creative ideas. Here are a few designs to inspire you. First, consider creating a scrappy orange peel design. It's a simplified quilting project. You could also create a circular table runner, ideal to showcase intertwining rings. You could also make half circles for dimensional flowers or use the Circles Sew Simple tool for quilting to easily stitch a wedding ring inspired design. Or quilt and applique at the same time. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to test out your new sewing or quilting skills. Order your supplies today.